My name is Nicholas L. Ash. I play Michael West on Queen Sugar, and I'm here promoting a film I wrote at Urban World. Oh, nice. What's the name of your film? Last Looks. Last Look. Yeah. How was it? Uh, what was how was the process of doing it from like start to finish? We made it with family. I mean, everyone that worked on the short film also worked on Queen Sugar. So we just kind of like pick and chose people. Yeah, Rutina, who stars in Queen Sugar, stars in this. Uh, a production assistant directed it. Um, another camera op um, was a cinematographer for it. So it was homegrown. That's good. How was it? Like, what was the process? Like, did you write it, or you just came up with it by yourself, or everybody had like a like a hands in it? I wrote it after uh, the director and I had met this woman who, um, I don't know if you've seen the short film yet, but she, she uh, the day we met her had come from doing makeup for her brother's funeral, oh, wow. which was just such a captivating thing to actually sit there and go through that process with your brother who is now dead. So the film uh, was very inspired by that. We didn't, we didn't, you know, exactly tell her story, but there wouldn't be a last looks without Kimberly and and what she went through. And what what was most exciting, rather than the shock factor of you know her doing the makeup, was her strength through it. She spent the entire time doing the makeup, just talking to him as if he was still there. Like remember when we went to it? Like it was like that experience for her, and that just like fascinated me. I can't wait to see it. When does it come out? Or is it still in the works? It's still in the works. I mean, it's here right now. It's just an eight-minute film. So we'll see if we'll get into other film festivals. But we want as many people to see it as possible and use it as navigation uh, for depression, uh, for people who have suicidal thoughts or tendencies, and even for people who have lost siblings or other loved ones. Oh, nice. Well, I can't wait to see it. How's it working with um, Ava? It's a, I could do an Ava dance right now. <laughs> she just won some Emmys. Shout out to I Ava DuVernay. <laughs> Um, Ava uh, has taught me intention. She puts intention into everything that she does, and most specifically about celebrating people who look in love like her, the black and brown bodies, and it informs the work that she makes because everyone that works on telling these stories got an auntie just like Aunt Violet, got a little a nephew or something, and, and that informs the piece that much more. You know, we're not through this distorted lens. We're just looking right through a glass and seeing ourselves, a mirror rather. We're looking right in the mirror and seeing ourselves with this story. So Ava's inspired all of that, and it was her intention that makes the show so beautiful. Yeah, because she handpicked everyone. Yes, I love her. Mm -hmm. like I actually love her. And congratulations to Ava. Do, I know, right? Like, she is. Um, do you have any other upcoming events or projects that you're working on that you want the people to know? This was really it. This was the best kept secret for a while, and we just got news that we were accepted a month or so ago. So being here, thank you, being here and sharing the film has been the biggest reward. We're on downtime from filming season two of Queen Sugar, and now we're on like a press run telling people to actually continue watching it, that we're, you know, hitting our message right on the nose because we're much more focused in our writing and in our storytelling. And after that, I'm gonna get back to my laptop and finish half of those drafts that I got in there and just keep producing, keep producing and keep keep building and, and advocating for some of the beautiful people in this room right now. Yeah. Well, thank you for stopping by. Congratulations on everything I know, right?